Pedrolini. I'm responsible for everything has to do with freestyle skiing. Our role for me is product management and in my understanding how I do product manager is let the best skier make their skis for themselves. So this is a cooperation between athletes, engineer and artist. Bring them all together and make the best skis possible. In 2017 we started with the 121 which is a playful backcountry freestyle ski. Right after that, we continue with the Revolt 104, which is basically a everyday ski. It doesn't matter if you go into the park, if you ski groomers, if you want to ski off piste, doing a backcountry kicker, whatever you want to do, you can do everything with one ski. Then we started straight away with the project of two skis, the Revolt 90, which is made for slopestyle competitors, and the Revolt 84, which is made for the halfpipe competitors. To be a part of Vocal and have them want to know my input and be a part of the team camaraderie is absolutely fantastic, and we get to build the best ski we can. I feel like Vocal is entrusting me to make the perfect park ski. It's really cool to feel like your opinion is valued. It's fun, never done this before, so definitely something that's cool and hopefully we can create the perfect ski. Those freestyle competitor athletes are super busy during the season, there is one World Cup following the next. And that means for us, for the engineer and me, it was way more of traveling. So we have to pack the skis together in Germany and follow those guys wherever they had a World Cup. This week we do the, the slopestyle crew and they're the two Norwegians, Birgrud and Erstein. Of course it's good. It's really good. The Swiss guy Andre Regatli, the Canadian ABM and the American Nick Gaffer. Here and the weekend will be the next Swiss World Cup. So they're here having qualification during the week and then the finals on the weekend. And then we used for the 84, it was actually Kevin Roland and Alex Ferreira. They are the two top half-pipe athletes in our team. There's about three or four different types of pipe skis and see what you like about them. Maybe take two or three runs and then you take notes on everything that you like about the ski, everything you dislike, and then you switch the ski at the bottom and you keep doing that for a number of different pairs. The tricky part and the whole project, there was let's say three different meanings in which direction we want to go. So this competition skiers have their different styles and different kind of skiing. So you have from, I want to have it super soft into I want to have it super stiff. You have everything. So I would kind of like to have them like stiffer and more like flexy, if that's possible. These are pretty stiff, pretty poppy. I like the way it like kind of gave back. When I come up with that build together, you can do that with all the engineers. Hi, I'm Lucas Romain. I'm the engineer for Volker, responsible for all the freestyle projects. I used to compete in slop style in Bigger back in the days. So during my uni time, I was in the French team and riding for Volker. He is a freestyle skier, he did some competition, he actually understand those athletes completely. So I actually always take Lucas with me when we go ski testing, that he just also get the reaction from, from the testers directly. We're working a lot on like swing weights to like have an easier handling from the athletes doing like hard tricks. All right, <laughs> pair number two. It's actually a lot different from the last one. I think two to three things you're looking for in a pipe ski is obviously sharp edges. You want a lot of stiffness in the ski, not a lot of rebound. Sometimes you want some snap, but mainly you want the ski to be very firm pushing against it. 
This is my favorite model so far. It's the stiffest ski that I've tested. Maybe a little bit more full camber, so it's a little bit more supportive. And then I think it could be the ski. Right. So part of the build together, it's the artist. And through some friends in the industry, we get that name King Romberg. When we met King first time, we saw he's one of us. If he is not an artist, he could be probably a free skier. Yeah, these skis are the dopest. Now we're here. The boys are testing the skis in court at the first World Cup of the season. This is the 84. Dope. <laughs> it's the same. The differentiation is here on the waist. Mm. It's half pipe and slope style. My oh, man! <laughs> Good to see you. We got something for you. Oh, right. thank you. Full design. Yeah. How did you came up with it? Every single ski is a different technique. So yeah. one's like printmaking, one's painted, okay. one's like a lithography. So each ski is kind of also based for a different target group. So I okay. decided for each ski was also good to have a different medium. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. See you. Take it easy. These look amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna ski hard on this. Like the big, big chance we have is the light swing weight wood core. Besides of this, we have like this damping, that's the black sheet here. Yeah. And this one is like a little bit softer and more resilient than ABS, so it comes back to its original shape.
I think big is out. We have the scores, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new leader. I know we have a really good, super good, talented team and we have a lot of opportunities to make some medals. But in the end of the day, I think it's more than just having the gold medal. I think it's also important for us to get that team spirit together, to produce great content, to keep the fans hyped, everybody in the crew is working together and looking forward and continue development good skis with nice graphics. can kill me with that ski and that makes me super happy and stoked that we get another build together project around the corner and now we will focus on the next one.